Hi, I'm David Mackley from Intelligent Retail. This is our series on EPOS systems, and this is number one. What is EPOS software? EPOS software has two main components, TIL and back office, and we're going to start off this time with looking at the TIL. So let's have a look at the main functions in EPOS software system. So here's our TIL. And the first function that we'll look at is you've got to be able to make a sale, so sales transactions. And when you're making a sale, the first part of that is finding the product. Uh, finding the product is easiest way is with a barcode, and barcodes are, are very common these days. And EPOS systems will have barcode scanners, and it is by far the fastest and the most accurate way of tracking your stock. Um, however, it's not 100%, it's not foolproof, because sometimes barcode labels fall off or they become unreadable for some reason. And in that case, you need to find a, um, have a very easy way of finding the product. So this is something to look out for in an EPOS system. It should have a very, very good search facility. And that could be a, even a Google type search. So if you, when an item comes to the till, someone wants to buy it, there might be a queue there. Um, it's very easy to get uh, to feel hassled and, and feel rushed. If you can't find that product quickly, then it's easy enough to put the wrong product on, and then your stock control is incorrect. And this is one of the big reasons why stock control can be wrong. So, um, what does the till cashier know about that item? It might be colour, it might be the type of product, it might be a manufacturer. Any or all of those things should be able to be typed in at the till to find that item. And if there's a picture on the product as well, that makes it even better because they're more likely to get the right product quickly, first time, and your stock control will be more accurate and reliable that way. So the first part of a sales transaction is finding the product. The second part, of course, is taking payment. So find product and then payment. So taking payment is cash, check, vouchers, on account, um, and of course cards. Now with cards, you've got chip and pin machines. Chip and pin machines could be separate or standalone, and that means if a sales transaction comes to £10, the £10 has to be typed into the card machine, which is fine, simple, but there is room for error. You can, as a second option, have an integrated chip and pin machine to your EPOS system, and that means that no amounts have to be typed in, it's much faster, it's more accurate, and that would ideally be the best way to do it. So that's taking payment. The second main function we'll look at with an EPOS system at the till is taking returns. These days, a lot of EPOS systems will be able to print off a barcode on each receipt, so that when a customer comes back with a returned item, to return an item, they can, the, the, if they've got the receipt, it can be scanned in at point of sale, and then you have all the details, quick as a flash, on the screen. That return can then be dealt with. The, the, the thing to look out for as well is, as a stock system, it should, you should see that the stock system's bringing that item back into the shop, so it knows you've got that extra product and it's ready to sell in the shop. So just make sure the stock control continues to work with returns as well. The next stage is discounts. With, with discounts, these are point of sale discounts. Uh, if an item is damaged or marked in some way, you might want to be able to give a discount at the till. Uh, key here is make sure that it's got supervisor access if that's what you want. So many managers and supervisors in stores um, feel that it's them that should be giving discounts and only them, they don't want their staff doing it. Uh, and so most systems now will be able to provide supervisor access for, for discounts. And then we've got customers. Now the, the functionality for customers does vary greatly with EPOS and it's one thing to think about um, for your particular business. Do you need to take customer details at all? Uh, some businesses like to take details of every customer they sell to, some none at all anyway. Um, if you are going to take details, maybe it's for special sales orders, maybe it's for marketing reasons, then two things to look out for. Number one, you should have postcode lookup to make finding the address quick and accurate. And secondly, the ability to put in an email address. And that's so that it's much easier to communicate with people with emails than any other form. So, 
those are the two things to look out for. You might want to take their details, as I say, for, um, for special orders. If that's the case, then just think of the overall process because um, take their details for a sales order. That product that should then go on a back order, you place an order from the supplier. When it comes into the shop again, when you do a goods in, you should be able to flag up which customers are waiting for those items. You can then contact them, let them know they're in stock, and they can come in and collect them. That whole rounded process should be possible through your repos system. Uh, another area for customers, of course, is loyalty schemes and what loyalty schemes does EPOS provide? Normally, um, there can be built-in loyalty schemes, so for every £100 they spend, they get, say, 100 points and it could print off a, a voucher of some kind. And that should be all preset in the, in the system itself and then you can change those settings. So that's the customer side. Finally, on the EPOS till that we're going to look at is the end of day. Uh, so the cashing up, what's in your till. Uh, thing to look out for here is the EPO system should present a screen for you to put in the number of coins and the number of notes you've got in the till and then it should tell you whether that's correct or not. If the EPO system is saying to you, this is I think how much you should have, it's too easy for staff to say, I think that's about right, let's move on. So look out for a screen that, that asks to put in how many coins and how many notes are in the till for the end of day. And then you should look for all the standard end of day readings as well. Um, so that's the quick summary of an EPOS system and the till part of an EPOS system. I hope you found that useful. If you want more information, please go onto our website intelligentretail.com. Thanks very much.